The diagonal of a rectangle is 39 inches. One side of the rectangle is 15 inches. Find the perimeter of the rectangle. Whenever it refers to a shape but doesn't draw one for you, it's always a good idea to, to um, draw a picture. We know the diagonal is 39 inches. And one of the side lengths is 15 inches. Now our rectangle has right angles. All of these problems, we should be asking one question. Where is our right triangle? It looks like our right triangle is right here. We want to find the perimeter of the rectangle. Well, we know opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent. So really, what we're looking for is this side. So I could do x squared plus 15 squared equals 39 squared, using the Pythagorean theorem to solve for x. But we can recognize that this triangle could be reduced if we divide each of these numbers by 3. So 15 divided by 3 is 5. 39 divided by 3 is 13. And I could use the, this reduced triangle to find the missing side here. So I could do b squared plus 5 squared equals 13 squared. So now I can use the Pythagorean theorem on the smaller triangle. And if I do b squared plus 25 equals 169, subtract 25 from each side, we get b squared equals 144. So b equals the square root of 144, which is 12. So this missing side was 12. This side is 12. So 15 plus 15 plus 12 plus 12 is the perimeter. Perimeter equals 54. Now again, hopefully you recognize this is a unique situation. Three whole numbers that create a right triangle. This is one that we haven't seen yet. We have 3, 4, 5. Now we have 5, 12, 13. We have 8, 15, 17. And we have 7, 24, 25. These are called Pythagorean triples. They're sets of whole numbers that work perfectly with the Pythagorean theorem. Sets of whole numbers that will create right triangles.